Yes, this has become a tradition. I am going to show this walk in every countdown I do. Get used to it. What's up YouTube? DK, we are back with another Final Fantasy Top 10 Countdown. In my last video, I asked you guys which countdown you'd like to see next. There were two public choices. The one we're going to focus on today is the Top 10 What The Fuck Moments. These are battle moments only. There's only two story related events that I can think of. This and this. And I'm really not too happy about this one. But when it comes to battle moments, there's quite a lot to choose from. So without further ado, let's get started. These are, in my opinion, Final Fantasy's top 10 moments in battles that made you say, what the fuck? The only reason why this is number 10 is because, as I said before, unfortunately, most of you have never fought these guys yet, which is a shame. But for those of you who have fought the five judges, you were just as surprised as I was. If you even think about using reverse in this fight, Geese were using leaks on you. Gabran for using X potion. Zagabaf and Drace will use high potions. Since we first played this game in Japanese, we didn't know what the hell happened. And the only words that came to mind was, what the fuck? There's only one reason why we bought the international version of Final Fantasy X. We wanted to fight those Dark Aeons. But god damn, we didn't know they'd be this strong. There are still many people who don't know what the Dark Aeons are. The Dark Aeons are optional super bosses added to the international version. They are released halfway through the game after you have become traitors. Unlike the arena monsters, losing one of these fights resulted in a game over. It was pissed off a lot of people when they didn't see it coming. Of course, nowadays they are all complete pushovers. But we all still have those nightmares from the first time we fought these guys. We just thought they were just so damn impossible to beat. Some of us knew this was going to happen because this was such a dick move on Square's part to the point where it was posted all over the internet. But for those of you who didn't see this coming, I can hear you saying that phrase right now the first time you fought this thing. When you first enter the room, you see a chest all the way across the screen, and you got greedy and you wanted to see what was inside of it. Next thing you know, Shimyu wipes you out with a tidal wave doing 8,000 to the entire party, sending you back to the save point. Who the fuck came up with that idea? If you want 100% completion, you need to do pretty much everything. This includes chocobo hunting. Unfortunately, not all chocobos in 10 are friendly. When an innocent looking chocobo nearly wipes out your entire party with one attack, you've got to say, what the fuck? Later on in the series, these birds are much more dangerous, but this is the very first time I ever wanted to kill a chocobo. Okay, so far this game seems pretty easy, alright. Hey, what we got here? Big giant green dinosaur. He can't be too tough, can he? What the hell? Zero damage? Ah! What the fuck? This guy gave a lot of people the earliest game mode they ever had in the Final Fantasy game. Just recently, I finished the Blind Up here, Final Fantasy 9, and I enjoyed every second of it. Had I known the game was this good, I would have played it a long time ago. Unfortunately, this moment was spoiled for me during my Blind Up here of the game. But I can imagine how most of you felt the first time this happened. 
you really, really needed to heal, but unfortunately Garnett is too damn depressed and her turn is completely wasted. There's quite a few story related events that affect your characters, but not like this. Final Fantasy X is one of the easiest Final Fantasy games to beat, but there's one little thing that caught us all off guard the first time we played it. Seymour's ability to instantly kill your Aeons is something that forced all of us to fill our overdrives before starting the fight. There are a few other enemies in the game that can instantly kill your Aeons, but since Seymour was the first one to do it, he's the one that made you say, what the fuck? You know, most Moogles have been really nice to us. They usually help you out in some form or another. However, there's one Moogle that's a total bastard. Most of us played the first game before playing the second game. We told this little guy that we are masters. Well, here's one more battle for me, Koopo. Happy fighting, Koopo. To punish your overconfidence, guess what? He makes your level 1 lightning fight a level 130 Feral Chaos, the strongest monster in the game. Is this shit even possible? If it is, please post a video response. I would love to see that. Don't get overconfident, Koopo. You little fuck. Shinryu might have been the first one to do it, but it wasn't a big deal back then because we knew we could still beat the son of a bitch. However, when Chak did it, it was a whole new ball game. Here's a clip taken straight out of my LP. Stony Glare. What? Dark Knights are immune to stone. How did that happen? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm pretty sure everybody said what the fuck on that day. Check is already hard enough as it is, but this bitch can turn the stone even if you are immune to it. What the fuck were you thinking? This is the sole reason why many people consider Check the hardest Final Fantasy boss ever. Now some of you are going to disagree with this one, but I have a really good reason for listing this as number one. With so many moments to choose from, there's one that tops them all. If you don't count Aeris' death, of course, but this is battle, not story. The number one moment in Final Fantasy that made you say, WHAT THE FUCK? A very important part of Final Fantasy is super bosses. Leveling up your characters, farming all those rare items, doing everything necessary to finally take these bastards down. At some point, all of them made you say, what the fuck? But there's one super boss that stands alone. Go to Wikipedia and type in super boss. The first monster on that page is Emerald Weapon. It's no coincidence. Final Fantasy VII has more fanboys than any video game ever created. I know it and you know it. Everybody thinks that this is just the greatest game ever fucking made. I love this game too, I'm just telling it like it is. Halfway through the game, you see this little monster in the sea and you take a swing at it. The next thing you know, Emma Weapon does 7,000 damage to you! For many people, Final Fantasy VII was your very first Final Fantasy game. This is the first time you faced the wrath of a super boss. The first monster that made you say, what the fuck? And this is why Emerald Weapon is number one. <laughs> 